Alaskans are calling for change in the Anchorage Police Department. In response, Mayor Ethan Berkowitz and Police Chief Justin Dahl pledged respectful policing while denouncing the actions of the Minneapolis Department. Chief Dahl pointed out APD officers have extensive training in cultural sensitivity and de-escalating potentially volatile situations. In the interest of public trust, Mayor Berkowitz says he supports a proposal to outfit all Anchorage police officers with body cameras and has announced an upcoming town hall. Still, many have marched in these very streets, saying change is overdue. We need to have a serious conversation here in Anchorage about what it means with communities of color and our relationship with the police. So I'm with the Party for Socialism and Liberation Anchorage. Uh, we're the organizers who put on this event. We're here to show solidarity with the cities down south who rose up against police brutality in the lower 48. And we fully intend on taking the streets. We're marching to ABD headquarters. No peace! No justice! If you play a role that concerns the safety and rights of the people in your community, realize the, um, the impact of your actions. Realize with that much responsibility comes with accountability. We are we are willing and we are tired and we are ready to break the cost of injustice. We just need you, the Anchorage Police Department, to be willing to serve every citizen equally with justice, not just the law. It's not a race issue, it's a right and wrong issue, is what I believe. I came out today to bring my children, this is their first time, just so that they're aware of what's going on in their communities. We're there, people are there who want to talk about it. White people, people of color are there who want to talk to the police about how they can do better. No justice, no peace, no racist police. I feel like they should be coming out here to support us more than anything. These last two days, I have been seeing like zero uh, support from the, the, uh, the department. I have not seen any, any boys in blue, so that's one big problem. We should have everybody supporting the community. I'm curious to know, you've got a lot of people right now, as we've seen in the last couple of weeks, who are frankly dismissive of the badge and the job that you do. How do you reckon that personally? How do your officers do that? If there are people in our community that have concerns about their interaction with the police, like I want to make that better. My desire to serve really makes me feel compelled to do whatever we can to improve that relationship so we don't have anybody in our city that is apprehensive about speaking to an Anchorage police officer. This is a conversation that's uh, needed, very important, and I have strong feelings personally about. So when, when I hear um, our community having these concerns, um, you know, this really is a great opportunity for us as an agency to sit and listen and see how we can be better. Well, you know, what I would say to APD is that, you know, this myth that you do not have problems with the communities of color here, you know, one of the reasons why we're here is that we want to break that myth. You've experienced just injustices by police? All the time. It's not, it's not that I'm not bothered by it anymore, but it's, just, it's bad that it's becoming so normalized. And I can always tell when I'm being treated different just because of the color of my skin. What we want from APD is we want some honesty. APD needs to publicly admit that they do have a problem with police brutality. We don't want to fight the police, but you know, the reality is they work for us. No